Hello everyone, new Basaurus here, and uh, guess what I've been working on? Span Footer der Toten, that is right. Uh, I've been doing a lot of work on this, um, mainly just been redstoning it up. <laughs> um, I want to show you what I got so far, but I do want to explain to you why it's been taking so long to get this damn thing done. Um, I wanted to wait for 1.5 because of the scoreboard stuff. Uh, that would really help with scorekeeping and everything. Um, however, when 1.5 came out, it nerfed a lot of my mechanisms, and I had to redesign every last one of them. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm going to do a brief demo of the gameplay, just because I've got one room set up. But uh, before I go in, I do want to explain to you uh, what you see here. You, you, we have uh, three scorekeeping systems here. Down below in my XP, you have the number one there. That's actually your rounds. That's keeping track of how many rounds you survive. Uh, and that stays with you when you go into this lobby here. Uh, it only resets when you re-enter the game. And then over on the right, in the sidebar, that's your score. That's how many points you have. Those are the points that you can spend to buy things. And then on the tab, you have your kills. This is how many kills you've gotten so far. Uh, every player starts out with five points. Um, representing 500 in the actual game um, and you gain one point for every kill that you get and every time you start a new round you you know another level of XP is added to your bar to indicate that hey you're on the second round so without further ado I will start this gameplay and to ignore the data I just have that up for testing reasons but you get this nice little melodic tune that starts, indicating the start of the game. And stuff starts spawning. And you get to fight zombies that are randomly popping out of corners and all hell breaks loose. And, uh, yeah, there's a few breaks. Oh my gosh. And, uh, get away from me. Um, you get potions of healing for your grenades. I know in the game the grenades are supposed to harm you, but in this game they heal and harm the zombies. See up here? You! <laughs> uh, oh gosh. Nine, okay. So at the end of the round, they stop spawning, and uh, you can push the start of round, and as you can see I've got 14 points, I've also got 9 kills. Uh, you can start the next round, and it, you get more grenades more zombies spawn. And what's really taking so long, what really makes this map cool, is as you progress, the zombies, at this point, I'll show you here, at this point, oh gosh, as you can see, each of the zombies are two kills. Well, if I were to open another door, what would happen is those zombies would all decide to come. Um, I think it's like five hit kills. Anyway, as you progress, the zombies get harder and harder to kill, and more and more of them spawn. Oh, gosh! You know what? Ah! Freaking die! Oh! Yeah, well, this is, uh, this is the death room, and, um, because there's only one player, it doesn't, doesn't keep you there too long, but if there's more players, it keeps you there, uh, long enough for the other players to kill all the zombies, and, you know, when they start the next round, you get revived. <laughs> But now that I'm in the lobby, I can see I've lasted two rounds, I've had 20 points at the end, and I got a sum total of 15 kills. But, uh... Derp. Anyway, what I want to show you is, you know, this whole computer right here. This keeps track of where you are, so it only spawns zombies in that one room. It also keeps track of how many rooms are open, so it can determine the actual amount of damage that the zombies take before they enter the room. These are the columns that they spawn in, and depending on where you are in the map, it depends on the height that they spawn at. Um, so if you have all the rooms open, they'll spawn all the way at the bottom, and they'll have their full health, and it'll be hell. <laughs> um, but I've only got like three rooms wired up at this point. I still got like another seven to go, I think. But yeah. <laughs> it's uh. It's going to be a lot of fun. So I suppose I should get back to work. And uh, this was, yeah, this is just a brief gameplay of my map. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope that you will 
enjoy the map when I actually release it. I hope to release it within the next three months. I'm giving myself a really large time window here because I do not have a lot of time to spend. But uh, yeah, this is Senor Nubasaurus signing out.